Well, hey guys, did I make a big splash? Did I make a big boo boo? Did I make a? Did I make somebody hurt a little bit? Uh, with the video almost raking up seven thousand views since I've looked at it, uh, six hundred likes, fourteen dislikes. I must have struck a chord. I must have really struck a chord. And I know some of my uh, analogies were kind of cringe, which you know I, t I, I take that. I take that as net positive for me because I'm a cringy human being. Um, I want to thank you guys for the support. I, I can't believe it. Like you guys really enjoy this content. Uh, you guys like to hear what I could say. Um, every single comment that I read was positive. I didn't see hardly any negative comments. Uh, everything was great. You guys are incredible. Which, uh, another YouTuber, Exposing Fraud Editors, has reached out to me. Um, and he spotted the obvious. So, you know, I, I do a bunch of different content on this channel. Uh, I do my daily bits. And I usually get maybe about 50 to 100 views per video. I do that every single day. Um, you know, I do my other stuff like long form, goofy things, and I'm getting ready to start something called Bits and Places where I go around this area and show you guys local businesses and stuff like that. But something that he did spot out, and guys, if you haven't already, go to Exposing Fraud Editor and give them a follow. Definitely do that. Um, I, I think it's a good idea. Thumbs up for me. Um, yeah, um, I think we're going to start talking more about fraud editors on this channel. I think we're not just going to talk about Chili, even though he's the biggest dumps cap of them all. I don't know. There's probably worse. He's just he's just too easy. Too easy. He's an easy target, and we all enjoy it. And, you know, there for a while, I was like, man, I don't want to cover that stuff anymore. And the more I think about it, the more I think we could do good by talking about this, by bringing these scumbags to life. Uh, letting people see the true nature of these fuckers. Uh, excuse my language. I use dirty, foul language all the time. I, I apologize. Uh, there's a whole sea of these frauditors awaiting. Um, you know, I maybe I can cast my uh, <laughs> experience with them. I, you know, I came in confrontation with Chili. Chili met me. He knows who I am. He came to Ironton. He knows exactly who I am. Uh, if he says he didn't, he's a fucking liar. It's just, you know, it is. He'll remember me because the video still exists. And I plan on doing the same thing with all these fraud editors. I plan on going out, well, not out because, you know, I obviously can't have all the money and do fundraisers and uh, pay for thousands of views and subscribers to go all over the country and living in a van. Can't do that. I've got a job. I have priorities. But we are going to start covering frauditors, not just Chile. We're going to cover them all. Every single one we can find. And the best way we could do that is if you guys wouldn't care, feel free to message me. You could email me. Uh, if you go to my bio or the about, you should be able to find it there. Email me some stuff you want to find. Like, if you find a frauditor interesting that you want to cover, uh, let me know. If you find some Karen you want to cover, let me know. Um, my goal is to probably get two, maybe three videos out a week on this specific thing. Usually maybe 10, 15 minutes long. Um, just covering, doing some reactions. And whenever we get to the point where we need to, when we need to really ramp things up, it'll probably be much longer and more freeform. Uh, which most of my videos are freeform because I don't go by a script. I'm, I just can't do it. One, I can't write scripts. I'm gonna have to get ChatGPT to do it. I just do it off cuff. And that's why it's so cringy most of the time. Whenever I say things, I'm stuttering all over the place. That's just me. Just me being nervous. Uh, that doesn't mean we're gonna stop doing our streams. You know, we're doing streams uh, three times a week. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday from 8 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll still be doing our gaming stuff. We'll still be doing our nerdy things. Still talking about conspiracy stuff. Still talking about local businesses and mental health. But we're also going to be bringing in the fraud editors. We're going to take them down. Every last one of them. Oh, as a plan, anyways. Obviously, you can't keep a Karen down. You have to, you have to give them some kind of, uh, I don't know, some viewership, some... What's the word am I trying to get? What's, what, what am I thinking here? What am I th Attention. Yeah. 
See, I, I'm, I'm terrible at this. I, we have to give these Shrouders the attention they crave, but we're not going to give them positive attention. We're going to give them the actual attention they deserve. And you know exactly what that is. If the last video i done about Delete Laws goes anywhere, goes with anything, or brings anything out, it's that people are tired of the bullshit. People think this stuff is cringy. They don't care. They're tired of being taken advantage of. And hopefully, this community, we can all band together and just do something good. Get rid of these motherfuckers. Because they don't deserve the air they breathe, honestly. And I'm not saying go kill them. I, I know somebody's going to be like, oh, God, don't kill the frauditors. Don't do that. And we're not going to harass the frauditors. We're just going to... We're going to... We're going to talk about it. We're going to point it out. We're just going to let it loose. So hopefully you guys, uh, when I start this soon, um, you can join me in this journey. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, let's get to 3,000 subscribers. That's That, that should be one. But actually, if you guys really want to help, let's get to 5,000 subscribers. But 3,000 would be good too. All right, guys. I love you very much. I'll see you soon.